Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really great way to use phrase and shortly to ju just kind of generate a ton of different questions about your topic or your niche. And this will give you some, you know, maybe, maybe some ideas for content to create or like a frequently asked questions type of thing for your site. Or just, uh, you know, when you just need a little bit of inspiration for what you want to do with your service or your site or or whatever it is that you're trying to do online for creating content this will be something interesting for you to check out i'm going to do this about tokyo and i've already gone into phrase and started a new document for just the keyword tokyo you can see it up here the search term tokyo what i'm really trying to use phrase for here is to get sort of adjacent words or similar topical words and that's what you get over here in the topic score. By default, you'll be in the top the top results tab. Just switch over to the topic score and you'll have a list of a bunch of keywords that are all related to Tokyo in some way. Now, what you can do is just start sort of pushing this little clipboard button over here and that'll drop it into uh, this content brief on the left. I apologize if you hear crickets behind me. <laughs> I got the windows open here in Tokyo. It's, it's nighttime right now, it's after midnight. And uh, I'm up creating videos. So back to the topic. Um, what you want to do is just kind of just create a list of ones that you want to think about as far as creating questions around. So, of course, I want Tokyo. I'm just going to put that in there. Uh, let's see. Tokyo Bay. Why not? Views. Except I'm going to change that, of course. Let's see. Um, let's see. Views. We say of Tokyo. Uh, we'll just say of Tokyo. Maybe we'll change it up later. Um, Tokyo Tower is good. Mm, ceiling windows. How does that relate to Tokyo? <laughs> uh, let's see. Fish market. Yeah, you could. I mean, fish market is one of the most popular things about Tokyo. Tokyo Metro is too. Tokyo Station. And uh, Imperial Capital. No, not the Imperial Capital. Let's see. Hmm starting to get in like hotels and rental services and stunning views let's let's change that to stunning views of tokyo yeah anyway um this should be enough to prove the point let me just copy all these and then i'm going to go over and back over into shortly and i'm going to paste it in and now i just i want to run a command on this but first let's put something in front of it let's do Give me some questions about Tokyo. I didn't need to put say Tokyo, but, uh, and now I'm just gonna copy this and let's put it in front of all of these. And then it's just a command enter to, when you highlight it, command enter, that'll run instruct. And this should get me some questions about Tokyo. Excellent. All right, let's do the same thing here. Highlight, command enter. Questions about Tokyo Bay, maybe? We'll see. Mm. Excellent. Man, that's on point, isn't it? All right, same thing. Stunning views of Tokyo. This one, I think, is probably going to be the one that gives us the most difficulty. What I'm going to do is hold down shift when I hit the command enter, and that'll keep the command there even after the uh, output comes back. All right, well, I guess that's good enough, you know, for now. Um, let's, let me just show you a little trick. And we're gonna call this, uh, this is, well, this right here, if you don't know yet, is the context cutoff ruler. What that means is when you're in the content and wherever your cursor is, like right now my cursor is right after here, I just down one line from there. Uh, if you hit that big right from me button down the left here, um, it's going to use this for the context, which means that's what it's going to use to get back content from the AI for you. And so I would just start like this, command enter to run, to hit that right for me button with a keyboard shortcut. And now it's going to go out and find more questions. All right. And sometimes it comes back with a little bit of weird stuff. So, <laughs> you know, delete that, delete that. All right. Um, but Sticking with the instruct command would be probably beneficial. 
And in this situation, mostly because this command has got just an insane amount of power. So like shortly is super smart now. Yeah, that's, I'm just going to, that's just way on. That's just, that's amazing. Uh, I'm going to take that away and then give me some questions about the fish market. Now, here's something interesting. Give me some questions about fish market. That doesn't mean anything as far as in terms of being about Tokyo. So let's, let's put some, uh, some, uh, context to this and then run it. There we go. Give me some questions about Tokyo Metro. Okay. Let's run that. I'm going to leave the command there. I did a shift command enter. It's control enter in Windows. There you go. I think you can kind of tell now that Shortly is really good at coming up with questions for your, your topics. Uh, you just ask, right? As, as I've been saying in the last few videos, that seems to be the power of Shortly now is it's got a it's got a big brain inside of it. It seems like you know it just it, it just sort of knows what you're asking for, of course, um, providing some excellent results for what you're trying to get. Now you can imagine using all this content now to, you know either add more to existing articles or to create whole separate articles for each question or like an FAQ or something. It's so I think it's quite powerful. And I just wanted to show you that it's something that you can do and a great way to synergize with phrase because phrase can give you related topics to your main topic and you can start creating tons of content based off of that. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe, please leave a comment, you know, ask questions. Let me know what you're doing with this content, this type of these types of tools and features of Shortly or, or even any other AI tool. Doesn't matter. This is just the AI content dojo. I just happen to really like Shortly. That's why I create mostly Shortly content. But when the other tools catch up to Shortly, I'll be using those as well, of course. And uh, yeah, just ask, let me know. And uh, if you could hop over to the AI content dojo.com and join the mailing list. I'll let you know whenever I release something new. And that's it for this guide. For uh, Anyway, until next time, take care.